With respect to what we've done, this is just a step in the evolution of appropriate dispute resolution in the Canadian energy industry. It is for company-to-company -company conflict. Again, we just wanted to get the word out. That was, here's some different ways to do things. And uh, the words of Jim McLean kept coming back to us that if at the end of it, all we ended up with was more mediation and arbitration, then we really hadn't set, we really hadn't done what we had planned to do. And that was to help the frontline people, the negotiators, and we're all negotiators, to be better negotiators. We routinely negotiate million dollar deals, hundred million dollar deals, and a few of you will be involved in billion dollar deals. And yet, while we pride ourselves as an industry in how we do that, we have limited, if any, negotiation training. So the focus of what we're doing in this handbook, in this conference, is focusing on the negotiator, focusing on the people administering the projects, developing the projects, operating. It is not focusing on uh, court dates and regulatory hearings. Court dates and regulatory hearings and those people behind that have been a huge part of the development of this handbook and what you'll see in the conference today. Uh, their focus as well as our focus, and I'm sure yours is, if more than 95% of the conflicts that we have as an industry between companies never go to court, never go to the EUB or the NEB, then let's focus on how do we do better on that 95% and focus a little less on the 1% to 4% that actually have to go through those processes. Um, they were beginning to find that they were able to work out arrangements that were um, creative, that took them a lot less time, saved them money, and also, and this is one of the most interesting things that I had one of the, the people say to me, it's a lot less stressful on our people to be able to participate through mediation and come up with an arrangement than our previous kinds of sessions and experiences that we had. How to effectively resolve what can be really difficult situations as a result of a number of things. Challenging relationships, past history, circumstances, or maybe even just perceptions among people. Everyone experiences conflict in their lives. And it's that experience and the desire to minimize those experiences that encourage people to use appropriate dispute resolution. This is not about taking a look at the costs and benefits and running away and say, I, I give. It's not about dividing up the pie different ways. For me personally, it's about finding ways to make the pie bigger.